Hi, it's Keith Peterson again from the Erdley T. Peterson Company in Westfield, New Jersey. We'd like to show you this afternoon a SIBO Felix Upright Vacuum. This is one of my personal favorites in the vacuum industry. At our facility, we typically sell way more canister vacuums than we do uprights. But this machine has some unique features. We actually use one of these at our house. As we have highlighted in other videos, one of the key design functions of a good vacuum is to retain particles. And for that to happen, the machine and the component parts must be engineered to the proper airtight levels. And then there's a necessary filtration where the air finally leaves the machine to contain residual particles. This machine, of course, embodies that. What is probably most attractive about this vacuum is what I term a hybrid design which is not only that it has two motors, there's a main suction motor in the main part of the vacuum, and there's a second motor making the revolving brush go around, but the fact that the revolving brush head can be removed with the push of one button, and a bristled bare floor brush can then attach. For people who like uprights, but have a fair amount of bare floor in their house, the average upright is not properly engineered to clean effectively on these bare floor areas. This machine with that switch over design enables a bare floor brush, the proper tool for the job, to be used on the bare floor areas. So it's extremely versatile in that respect. The first thing to mention is the cord is 39 feet. So many of the cords in this industry today are short. 39 feet is a good length allowing the user to continue to vacuum we could say to continue to joyously vacuum. The handle's adjustable for comfort. There's a release lever and the handle can be positioned for different users. It will also release down and store if there's a closet, say, with a low first shelf, the handle can come down to that level. The cleaning accessories are built onto the machine. As with many uprights today, the cleaning tools on this vacuum are slightly hampered by a shorter length on the hose. There are two primary accessories at the fingertips of the user, the crevice tool, the upholstery tool, and this machine can be used to do an upholstered sofa, a chair, or clean corners and edges around cushions. We use it that way in our house. There's an extension wand available if a longer reach is desired but there is a reduction of length on the cleaning abilities on this machine. Its primary use is as an upright for rugs and for floors. This vacuum cleaner, as with all the machines that we sell, features a bagging system. We have mentioned in other videos we don't advocate bagless machines because of the amount of uh, particulate that is uncontained. It's flying around. It assails the internals of the vacuum. It's dirty to empty. So the bagging system on this machine is accessed very nicely from the top. There's a flap that releases the top lid, and before the bag comes out, there is a seal cap that will contain, ensure that particles are contained. The bag lifts out from the machine. This is a micron material to help filter. Internally below the bag is a secondary filter. And then on this vacuum, interestingly enough, this, which looks much like um, a simple outer covering on the bag chamber is what they call in Europe an S-class filter. It is designed to filter to very tiny microscopic critical sizes. So you have three levels of filtration which assures the air is being properly cleaned in this machine. So this vacuum, as we mentioned, has the ability to swap very nicely between rug and bare floor cleaning. And the way that's accomplished is this button here when depressed allows this nozzle head to very quickly release. In the place of that nozzle head, which contains a motor and a revolving brush, is a bristled bare floor tool. And that simply attaches in place. And you can see we've got a bristled tool with wheels with rubber tires. This will very nicely clean any type of bare floor. And then to go back to the rug, we simply press this. That releases, and the machine will drop back into this rug head and we're back to cleaning the rugs. What a beautiful design to allow versatile cleaning throughout the house. This machine also features a dial which enables adjustment to carpet height. It's always better to make a nozzle head that can adjust a particular type carpet 
than a head that just simply flops onto the rug. This then can be adjusted as needed to suit cleaning on different carpets. But when we turn this head over, we have a beautiful feature in that a revolving brush needs to be thoroughly cleaned to maintain its effectiveness. The hair and the thread that's picked up in the cleaning process will wind around the brush. Eventually that hair and thread will travel off into the ends of the brush, into the bearings. It'll stiffen up the brush action and cause problems. So SIBO recognizing this has a real nifty design to enable the user to clean this brush head. At this point it says press and if I press with my thumb this end cap revolves and releases and then I can take this brush and simply remove the brush. No tools necessary. We can clip and snip and get any residual hair and thread off and then simply reattach the brush and reattach this bearing cap. This is a terrific design. A revolving brush has certain weaknesses with the hair and the thread. This helps overcome that. While we're at this brush, we should mention that with most of our preferred vacuums, we do not have machines using rubber stretch belts. They stretch, they break, they need replacement, but rather the belt used is a timing or a cogged belt. It has teeth, it won't stretch, it won't slip. The brush is spun at a constant functional speed, and if the brush head is jammed, um, you go under a bed and pick up a t-shirt or something by mistake, it'll shut that brush down and protect the belt system. So in conclusion, we'd like to emphasize that the SIBO Felix vacuum offers some terrific versatility for the user. The machine will switch seamlessly between rugs and bare floors. The necessary airtight design is present. The sanitary bag emptying design. It's one of the most popular vacuums we have in almost 60 years of being in the vacuum business. Thank you and you can see us online at etpeterson.com.